What's going on, YouTube world? Today, we're gonna be looking at the Quantum Evo Hybrid. Uh, I was a big fan of the solid. Didn't throw the pearl as much. It came up, came along, released alongside a lot of the pearls that I just gravitated towards a lot, but we do have each one of those balls here. So we're gonna be looking at all three of them. Uh, so it's gonna be a little, a little longer, but between about every five shots, I'm gonna stop and then kind of explain what I'm seeing and kind of the biggest differences uh, between each ball. So I'm gonna keep it short this time, uh, as short as possible. Possible, I should say uh, but yeah man so as always if you like uh, want any of the products uh, use the links below I'm going to be so I have them all if you want to support the channel that's huge and as always have a cool wig polo on cool wig apparel got some new jerseys coming so as always man I appreciate you guys man and, and that's it man I'm done talking I'm gonna get my little warm-up on and then we we'll get to the video So as we look at the layouts, the Evo Pro and Evo Solid uh, were drilled before I started just using the same layout across the board. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, so and then also lane one versus lane two played dramatically differently. And honestly, again, it looked like there's just a little more carry down on this lane. Uh, you know, the, the lanes were, were freshly dressed. Again, it may have been, there may have been a sports shop ran before something of that nature. So again, just take these first several shots. Um, with a grain of salt, we're going to transition to lane two, uh, but you are going to see some Evo hybrid and some Evo solids on this lane uh, before we make that switch. Uh, but yeah, again, from seeing this ball reaction, uh, once I played a little bit straighter with it, it looked fine. But again, it just, it didn't look normal. So that's part of why you're going to see me uh, switch to lane two to get a better read. But I want to give you these shots because, you know, that's what we do here. Or here. So there's a combination of things there. Uh, again, I think it's at more at home, closer to the track, a little further right. Uh, but we're gonna check out the solid now. I'm curious to see how much more overall hook the solid's gonna have in comparison to the hybrid. So here's the next couple shots with that one. And all of these, uh, all three of these balls are ASIM. Uh, the, the cores are slightly different. Um, and once we get to my closer up angle, we'll talk about all those details and see uh, again, which one specifically has the same course because they did have different course for the solid and a pearl. So we can kind of discuss that and go into uh, a greater detail. Uh, but yeah, we switched to lane two um, and this is where I was just like, okay, ha, huh, I can breathe again. Cause initially I was like, man, this ball sucks. <laughs> like, like honestly, I was just like, man, this, this ball doesn't hook down lane. I was like, I don't, nobody wants this. <laughs> uh, but as soon as we changed the lane to, uh, I got a better reaction, uh, something that I was more expecting. Uh, all the evils hooked for me. So if this one didn't, I was like, man, they, th this cover must not be that great. But that is not the case. Um, as you see and will continue to see, um, this ball hooks. It, you know, it's a, it's definitely cleaner uh, than than the solid, uh, but it's not as sideways as that pearl. And I know it's a hybrid, so it's kind of a mix between you know both of them. Um, but yeah, man, I really enjoyed the ball reaction uh, with it, uh, especially again once I get off that lane one. Because again, the lane was really the issue, um, so it wasn't the ball. But yeah, man, this is a this is a game one. Uh, rock in my opinion that you'll be able to chase it in a bit uh and get to game two man and you know if you really get tricky with your hand man you can move this thing to game three there's probably better things to throw at that point but you can do that with this ball So far, so good. I actually like the ball motion I'm seeing. Uh, 
with this little hybrid cover stock and it being again kind of kind of dusty when I when I got it out of the box, uh, it looked it rolled pretty good though. Uh, you know, typical Brunswick hook, but again, this actually retained a little more energy uh, than the original solid did. So so far, again, you know, I can play a little right with it, just make sure I keep keep a little speed on it. Uh, but yeah, again, so far so good. I'm, I'm liking the ball motion. So after I've seen those couple shots, we're gonna jump into the solid. Uh, and here's my next, you know, five, five to eight shots. Get some hand in it, put your elbow in it, uh, and that ball is gonna hook plenty for you. This is the big Dundata of the bunch. Uh, so now we're gonna take a look at the Pearl. It should be the cleanest, uh, most down lane of the three. And so if you're wondering why you didn't see a ton of footage from the solid, uh, that was more because I, my camera, uh, the memory card ran out of storage. <laughs> um, and I didn't see that, but I was, kept hitting uh, record. Uh, but uh, yeah, I didn't uh, pay attention. So you didn't see a lot of uh, shots there with the solid from this, uh, seeing more of my whole approach angle, but I fixed that. Again, that's why you're seeing the current shots and you will see about six, about six or so shots with the solid once I change angles uh, to my closer up. But again, the ball hooked a lot. It looked a lot, had a lot more energy um, than on lane one. But again, I want to still let you see something um, from, from this particular angle. So that's why you, you saw that. As you can see, uh, the ball gets through the pins, but getting on lane is a lot easier. Storing a lot more for the back end. Uh, this is probably one of the most enjoyable ball motions of the three, honestly, just for wide open house shots. So, yeah, man, we're gonna throw a couple more shots here and then we're gonna throw the Evo uh, hybrid again. So here we have it, uh, looking at the numbers, uh, layout of 60 by four and a half by 30. Uh, this is the Evolution Reactive Hybrid cover stock. They all have our Evolution Reactive cover stocks. Um, and the core is actually different. Um, all three of these balls have different, different cores and different core numbers. So the QCS18 um, and has an RG of 2510, differential of 051, and intermediate differential of 018. Uh, yeah, and it's finished at 2000. So yeah, man, as you've seen this ball going out of lane, uh, the man, and we'll talk about the, the rest of the numbers once we get to them, but this ball hooks. Um, and I feel like, again, especially when you compare it to the solid, and it actually makes sense once we talk about the solid of why it hooks so much more down lane. But man, I really love this ball reaction. I think this is really my, gonna be my new number one ball. Uh, so when you look at the Evo uh, solid, uh, different layout, of course, uh, 35 by four and a half by 50. And then the Evolution Reactive Solid cover stock. And then you have a core of a QCS12, which has an RG of 2502, a differential of 048, and an intermediate differential of 012. Uh, it's finished at 1500. So yeah, man, these numbers, man, really make sense. You have a stronger cover stock, so you don't want as strong of a core on it. Um, so again, that's why that ball blends a little bit more. 
then as we get to the Pearl, the Pearl has by far uh, the highest RG, but has the most differential and intermediate differential. So that's something just to keep in mind here um, that you put a, a stronger, stronger engine in it, but you put a cleaner, more responsive cover. So I know a lot of people that actually did give this ball a try. It hooked a ton. Like the Evo, the Evo Pearl hooks uh, just ridiculous amounts. And this is this is really why like this bigger engine in this ball, you know, it, it just makes it make more sense now. Um, so if you're looking for something really more skid flip, that's exactly what the Evo Pearl is. Um, and the hybrid is really a blend. Um, it's not, is again, not as core strong as the Evo, the Evo Pearl. But again, the RG, the RGs are close. But again, this stronger cover, this hybrid cover stock, uh, really just blends. I feel like this is the best of both worlds when you're looking at that. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, and again, if you want to purchase it, use the links below. All right, later.